Welcome to this Spice Vision Pro demonstration. In this demo I would like to show some advanced features of the tool. First I open a Spice file. To extend the functionality, I will open one of the userware examples shipped with the tool. This userware will extend the main menu. From this new menu you can call different electrical rule checks. The first example is looking for heavy C's and R's. After clicking the menu entry, the function is immediately executed. In the result window the top 10 list of caps and resistors, with the largest capacitance and resistance values are shown. Each double click displays the clicked element. The second example is looking for wrong bulk connections. A double click shows that the bulk of this transistor is not connected to power. The default behavior is to draw only wrong bulk connections. The bulk of this transistor is connected to power and therefore not displayed. But you can control the bulk visibility from the tools menu. Now all bulk connections are shown. Or you can turn off the bulk visibility, even if it's considered a wrong connection. Let's go back to the default setting to show only wrong bulk connections. The next example is searching for floating output nodes. The result is displayed in the memory window. A double click shows one result in the schematic. Each double click displays the next result. Now we will have a look at the source code of a similar userware example. An easy to understand userware script finds all floating nodes in a design. As a first step, we loop over all nets in all modules of the loaded design. All power, ground and negative power nodes are skipped. Also, all nets with a value are skipped. Count the number of pins connected to this net. If a net has more than one connection, there is no need to count anymore. We can break the loop. If only one pin is connected to the net, then it is added to the result list. The result is displayed in the memory window. Here this window is cleared and displayed. The last step adds the result to the memory window. The last check is searching for coupling C's. A double click shows that this capacitor is not directly connected to power or ground. We use the auto increment feature to highlight the nets of the coupling C's that we found. More double clicks show the other coupling C's. Now we will have a look at the source code of the coupling C userware example. The first step of the coupling C userware loops over all instances in all modules of the loaded design. Skip all instances where the device function is not a capacitor. A capacitor device has always two pins. Check both nets connected to these pins. If either one connects to power or ground, then set a variable to not report this instance. If the variable above was not set to true, then this instance is added to the result list. The result is displayed in the memory window. Here this window is cleared and displayed. The last step adds the result to the memory window. Thanks for your interest in this Spice Vision Pro demonstration.